All right, today I'm here because I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Nest without any Wi-Fi. It's supposed to be set up to Wi-Fi, so getting it to work without Wi-Fi is kind of tricky. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, in case you need to set one of these up. So what you're going to first do is, um, you know, because this screen won't do anything, and unlike the old Google Nest, they don't turn. So uh, what we're going to first do here is uh, get the Google Home app. So this one right here, that's what you want to download. You're going to have to download that. Obviously, I already did that. So the next thing is you're going to have to uh, add a home because you either you don't have any you don't uh, because you don't have this device or you um, already have it at your home address. So in this case, we're going to put in uh, twelve sixteen. Okay, so we're going to hit next. Okay, and then uh, we're going to skip this part. Because that isn't that important in this case. So now what we've got to do is we got to go into this one and we've got to um, uh, set up a device. And we need to do new device. Okay, so I got the address selected. Go to next. So it's going to be looking for devices, but obviously since there's no Wi-Fi, we're not going to be able to, um, it's not going to connect. So I just have to wait for it to time out, which it now has done. And now it's saying, okay, well, what, what do you want to set up? I want to set up a thermostat. I want to set up a Nest thermostat. So now I've got to pull this off, just pulls right out, pretty simple. It wants me to scan that QR code. So I have scanned the QR code and now it is ready to set up the Nest thermostat, or at least it says. Um, and then you have to say that you agree to these terms, which you can click on this and see what the terms are. But you know, if you're like most people, you're just gonna say yes. I'm already signed in, by the way, to my home account. Uh, I tried doing this through a Google Suite account that's set up through my business. That did not work. Um, so I had to set it up through my home account, which is just a standard Gmail. Um, most people have them. If you don't, you're probably going to have to set one up in order to do this. But anyways, do you have any of these other in the house? Uh, we do not. Create network. And it's thinking pretty hard. Okay. So now it's saying, here's all the things you got to do to install a thermostat. Now, you know, in terms of home wiring, removing the old thermostat, and so on, that's already been done. We're already installed, so we're just going to click already installed. It's going to try to connect. Obviously, it's not going to be able to because we don't have Wi-Fi, but it still has to try because that's what it's set to do. And eventually, it will stop trying to do it. Okay, so now it wants to know what wires, so uh, I'm going to pick, um, the first one there is Y, so I'm going to pick Y, Y1. Now it's C, so I'm going to pick that one. There's a C option. W, so W and W1. G and R. I'm going to hit next. Okay, so before I go any further, I want to put this back on. Your thermostat is ready for configuration. I'm going to pick English. Okay, so now it wants to test the system power based on um, uh, the wires that I just selected on that uh, screen a couple of stops ago. We have, um, oh, we've got gas electric for our source, forced air, and um, should the fan activate when calling for heat? Uh, since it defaulted to don't activate, I'm just going to put don't activate for now. And uh, currently we are in July, so I'm going to set it for cooling. And as you can see, right now the temperature inside is 82 degrees. It is now set 
currently set for 75, so it's going to be coming down for a little bit. Now, one thing to know, if you look at the side of the nest, even though it no longer has the dial, this right here acts as the dial. So if you look at what I'm doing on the front of the screen, as I go down with my hand, the temperature's going down. As I go up with my hand, it's going up. I'm just, for right now, I'm just gonna get it to a reasonable 75 degrees though, um, so that we uh, just get some general cooling at this point. But it is possible to adjust the temp to something different uh, by doing that. Um, there is a way of getting this back to a home screen. Um, so I'm gonna try that here. So I just pressed the side, just pressed it. I didn't turn it this time. And now this is where I can go in and let's say now it's October and it's starting to cool down and we don't want AC anymore. I can just push that. Oh, I guess that's to, I gotta change the setting. So um, I can go back to this and change the mode. So I can change it to heat. Um, I can actually turn it off if I would just wanna turn it all the way off. And you can also set it to heat cool and have it just so it's always within a certain temperature range. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it on cool. And then within cool, like I said, I can move it up or down, um, just whatever is more comfortable. Uh, just going into what these other, um, these other options here, um, I can go to fan. I can have that run for a certain amount of time. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm just going to, actually I'll get back to that. So I'll go back to fan, I'll push that. Um, I could, well I can stop, so I'll stop the fan for now, but I just wanna sh show you how that fan option works. So I'm gonna scroll down to fan, push that. Uh, I can select how long I, I want it to run for if I, um, well, I'm just gonna say cancel. Go back to fan. So yeah, so 15 is the minimum, but I can also keep going down and run it for longer. But in this case, um, I'm gonna say 15, and I could start it right now, but instead I'm just gonna cancel. I just want you to see how to run the fan in case you do wanna run the fan. Um, you lose some of the functionality when you're not on Wi-Fi, so I can't go into settings because I don't have an account. Can't go into hold. Um, because that's just not an option. And um, this just takes me back to where I'm at. Like I said, I can change the temperature from there. So anyways, hope that helps you out. Um, hope this makes things a little bit more comfortable for you when you've got your uh, Nest thermostat but no Wi-Fi. And um, uh, yeah, stay comfortable.